Welcome back to Anglic Robbie Zucca, the original and most rusty video series on this channel, soon to be joined by more cars, more owners, more adventures, more reasons to subscribe. That's why we've got a new intro. This month, we are powder coating, welding, and seeing an amazing Zwombel Zuc crew. Now you could do us a massive favor and hit the subscribe and bell buttons. Done it? Wicked. Welcome to behind the scenes of a powder coating factory. The first step in the process is to give everything a good shot blasting. Followed by a dip in an acid bath. Once all the remaining contaminants have been removed, the wheels, bumper and grille get their first of two coats of powder. With baking in between each coat. Why's that? Well you can see, especially with the grille there, white is a lot more translucent than other powder colours. Something that takes some getting used to is how furry everything looks until it's baked. And obviously, after being baked, they need to be allowed time to cool. Only then could I take them to the yard. As you can probably see, the finish was stunning. And I was equally happy that my extended wheel bolts were long enough. The grill is as good as new. So good in fact, it would have been rude not to fit this. And now, for another tiny step in the right welding direction. The driver's footwell. Yes, there are still quite a lot of other bits to sort this side. But at least I don't have any big holes. Next job for this side is to work out if this sill needs to be changed and how we're going to stop the floor behind the bulkhead sagging. Small bits and pieces that are underway include fabricating a new battery box which will be under the ladder chassis. The idea is the battery won't come out through the front, but will be able to slide in from the right hand side. 
I'm also waiting for this coolant temperature sensor that's now been threaded to be welded into this. And today we're going to take this thing down. I think my, my plans have changed a little bit and the bed is no way going to be that high and I'm not going to be messing around with the roof other than making it watertight to start with so we can find some roof panels that aren't dented but yeah so current thinking is platform bed in around this height small garage underneath bed will be full length and it will end just where the uh, red tool chest is about just after the, the window the bulkhead will be gone so I'll have room for a small kind of modular stove, sink, uh, and a fridge on one side, and then obviously a flip down table the other side, and both my driver's seats will rotate round. So I guess you're wondering, what's next? Well, thanks to Wojciech, I now have a rear quarter panel and an under windscreen repair panel, both to be fitted in a future video. Meanwhile, underneath, I didn't need to change the gasket in the rear beam in the end, and it's cleaned up pretty well. I do need to paint over it and I need to get some, I don't know, what are they, 12, 12 centimeter uh, Jubilee clips to hold the new brake lines on. But obviously the axle looks a lot better. Also in my travels managed to find the first hole in the chassis itself. I'm not pleased about that. Hopefully a plate will sort that. Also fitted new bump stops. Next up is some new shock absorbers. And then at some point doing, and I'm dreading this, all of the rubbers on the front suspension and new shock absorbers in the front as well. Um, right now I need to work out where my battery box is gonna go and how that's gonna mount, but I think that's gonna go up here. And um, I'll get this all painted up. And with any luck, I'll be able to get a battery out. If not, then I'm gonna make the whole box bolt on somehow. Special Anglic Robbie Shuka bonus time. Can you guess why I'm cutting the hose up? If you need a hint, I'm keeping the ends. And it's camper related. Answers in the comments below. In other important news, Carol from Zhuk Party Bus and I have already decided we're doing Zwomble 2020. Want to come along? So in terms of seeing what we were getting ourselves in for, I put a shout out to a team on Facebook and to my surprise, <laughs> they diverted to come and stay the night in the Southwest. This was awesome because it was the same Zhuk I'd followed on YouTube for years that had done the same conversions that I was planning to do and done several back-to-back -back Zwomble rallies. So what better way to find out if I'd made a good decision? This crew had also fitted aftermarket heating and welded up the bulkhead, just like I'd done. They also had the advantage of a Bosch fuel pump, whereas I was still running a Lucas. The Lucas has plastic internals, where the Bosch is metal. Inside, possibly one of the best mods to do on a Zhuk, is an internal shelf for your electronics and a sunroof. It 
It's interesting to see the differences in our conversions, yet many of the decisions are the same. But after a good nose around, we went out for a run in the cab and showed them the sights of Bath and the Southwest. They were really good sports too, not only drinking the cider I bought them, but letting me drive their juke, although not necessarily in that order. So if you want to see more of Team Kayoya, check out their Facebook. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you next time.